Across the next 10 days, I and a group of brothers will be walking from Mecca to Medina following the exact Hijra route that our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, took, documenting the experience, the emotions, and the lessons we learned from it. Before starting our Hijra trek, we commence with performing Umrah, which is a holy pilgrimage for Muslims, and this is where Islam started. <laughs> So this landmark over here is in the Haram and it's where the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was actually living in Khadija radiallahu anhu's house. Down north is Medina and down south is Jabal al -Thaw. And we're going to be starting the Hijra from this house exactly where the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam started it and the Hijra starts today. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when they leave from his house, when they leave this side, he looked to the Kaaba and he said, Wallahi, the Messenger of Allah وسلم, was permitted to migrate and was told to leave immediately. This was an emotional time for the Prophet. It was his birthplace and comfort place. However, on the 30th of September, 622 AD, in the middle of the night, he was instructed to leave, and this is where the Hijra started. So the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was walking from Khadija radiallahu house and as he walked towards Abu Bakr radiallahu house which was right over here, it's now a bank, oh boy this is where he used to actually live and they actually were getting ready to leave towards Jabal al -Thaw. they were getting ready for three and a half months and we're going to be walking towards Jabal al now. Yeah. It was free chocolate for me and the brothers, alhamdulillah man. Welcome to Saudi Arabia. We're eating good. What's your name? Mansoor. Fajr. Mansoor. Fajr. 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 Maghrib. Fajr. Asr. Dhuhr. Asha. This is the exact same street that the Prophet Muhammad Sallam and Abu Bakr walked on. Whoa, they went on their camels, but yeah. Tariq al Hijra. As the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and Abu Bakr were escaping from Mecca, the Quraysh were actively pursuing them. Once they found that the Prophet had left Mecca, they immediately started searching for the Prophet and his whereabouts. They were already aware that some of the Muslims had left towards Medina, so they anticipated he would also be going there. To avoid detection and capture, the Prophet وسلم, outsmarted them by taking a less direct and a more challenging route. You see, Medina is north of Mecca and Jabal al thawr the mountain of thawr is completely south of Mecca, which is the opposite way. The Prophet going backwards instead of forward was a tactical move as it allowed them to escape the pursuit of the Quraysh who were searching for them on a more commonly used route to Medina. We just arrived in Jabal al thawr alhamdulillah. So it's barely here, inshallah, we're gonna go. Oh no, inshallah, brother. Inshallah. Inshallah, I leave my belly when I go. Inshallah. I'm too fat. It's hot? Honestly, yeah, we're around six percent in, and whew, I'm tired. Whenever I come to Saudi, I always get humbled with this stuff, man. Hey, I think it's time for me to have a nap, bro. Let's go. You go sleep. <laughs> See that. I can't believe you actually done it. I am not doing that. No way, bro. You see all these shops here? The water, the drinks, the food. The donkeys are what? Oh, who'd actually bring them up? So guys, this is Sheikh Muhibi, yeah, which is honestly my favourite Sheikh in the UK. He's going to give us a little reminder, inshallah. So if you look around, this is the most green you'll see on the mountains of Mecca. And we're talking about a hadith of the Prophet wasallam, where he prophesied that a time will come, it will be a sign of the Day of Judgment. The land of the Arab, meaning Mecca and so on, will once again be Jannat wa Anhar. It will be gardens and greenery and rivers. <laughs> This is the biggest leg day I've ever done in my life. Honestly, yeah. You think you're hench. We think we're tied at a gym. Come, come do this. <laughs> Stop escaping. Leg day. Okay, guys, listen, don't judge me, okay? Number one, I was very tired and also very hungry. 
I mean, it's Ramadan, so you could probably relate to that, right? For me, after a week, my favorite go to spot is Bims. The perfect place to satisfy my burger cravings. They've got a variety of food from vegetarian to chicken options and beyond. Be sure to check them out in Edmonton, Ilford, East Ham, and also North Finchley. Slap Bims on your maps and make your way to them because trust me, the food will not disappoint. Use a discount code BIMS10 at the tiers to get 10% off your next meal during Ramadan. This is how far we've come. And uh, I think, realistically speaking, we've got another like 70%. Let's go. Inshallah, this video gets in my wife. Guys, call him on 0092301471 May Allah get your wife. But for more, his number. I said, Inshallah, he's gonna bring his wife and show, look, and look what I wrote for you. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's gonna, gonna bring her here. This video, he's gonna get in my wife and then he's gonna bring her here. Before we get my friend married over there with his number, let's get <laughs> Rafi Ramayn's married, yeah? So look, there's my brother. He, look, he leads Jumaa, he leads prayer, Hub and Mosque. So if you're a sister and you want to hear his voice, go to Hub and Masjid. Did I have sister section? No, 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 no. no. Did it's I have sister section? We do have sister section, but go not to the Hub and Masjid. No, not in Jumaa. Right <laughs> behind my friend Rafi. <laughs> And trust me, he's a good boy. Well, like, you know what? When I went to the masjid, he took care of me, bro. Okay, and Rafiq, sisters, if you're still watching, also brother Rafiq is married. No, 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 my, my uncle kill me. No, no, no. He's allowed I'm happily to married point. and only one one. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Also, just just, just saying, uh, his at is Rafi. What's your at? Please, I forgot your at. Oh, my days. You guys, I'll see you on the way don't down. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll... Uh, you come down, I'll be here, Habibi. Please. Huh? No, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> Guys, please remember our intention behind this is to raise money for Gaza. Our people in Gaza are struggling, so please donate however much you can, whether it's a pound, ten pound, a hundred pound, and please share with your friends and family. Click the link in the description and please donate whatever you can. The views of Mecca from up here, honestly, it's breathtaking. Like you can see the clock tower from here. You can see just many mountains off the mountain, off the mountain. Mecca. I can't compare it to the UK, bro. This is gonna move out here. If someone lives here, please, like, find me a house or something. Subhanallah, lazy, lazy, sitting down. Oh, we're waiting for you. I didn't take one break. <laughs> I'm alright. This dead. I can do it. It's easy. You can do it. Easy, easy. I'm just looking at the rocks. Rafiq, that's what it is. I'm waiting for Rafiq. Oh, look, finally you made it. We've been waiting. Finally? We've been waiting, bro. Brother Rafiq finally decided to get up, so now we can make support. a move on. I'm moral support. So look, finally, come on. Yeah, Shabbat. I'm moral support. Someone who has tracking the footsteps of Brother of the Hijrah and his Sira. Tracker. He is a modern day tracker of the seer of the Prophet. And through him, inshallah, we and many others will benefit. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We have reached the end of the world. We have reached the end of the world. كالجبال الشم عزما ما فترنا اوهنا نقت في الاصرار نجما ان ظلام العين جنا من دسوق this is the exact cave. This is where they actually entered from and was actually closed from the back. But this is uh, where it was actually open in the beginning. Abu <laughs> Bakr يا رسول الله لو نظر أحدهما إلى قدمي لأبصرنا ثقة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم بالله عز وجل قال يا أبا بكر ما ظنك باثنين الله on day two, we're going to be covering some exciting topics. The three key people that made the Hijra possible. The first location the Prophet stopped at after Jabal al-Thawr. And finally, how they tracked the Prophet down, which I promise you will blow your mind. 